Hello, I am back at it again with today another Fog of War Sudoku. Once again from Cracking the Cryptic. So let's see. For these rules, we have Snare Fog of War stuff. Additionally, there's going to be some red circles throughout the map. Inside each red circle, there will be a number. This number indicates how many red circles total throughout the grid have that number in it, and additionally one of the eight cells around a red circle, that number needs to reappear. Finally, there's a couple other things. These two red circles, they have the same digit that's been given in the intro, and some red circles, like this one here, have arrows coming out of them. These arrows will, the numbers on them will sum up to the number in the circle, and each, uh, arrow coming out of a circle will not overlap or cross any other arrows. Circles don't need to have arrows, but they can. So the first thing that's immediately obvious is that this guy has to be at least a six, because based off of this, the arrow is at least three cells long. Which means this guy is also at least a six. Additionally, one of these three cells and one of those two cells has to be the same number because of the surrounding eight cells, but since one of these two is the same number, this one isn't. So one of these two and one of these two is going to match that number in the arrow or in the circles. <clears throat> now then, if this guy is a nine, then that means it has to appear at essentially every single uh, occurrence of the number 9 must be in a circle. And is that theoretically possible? Um, I don't think so. Why? Because what are we going to do with the 9 in this row? It's going to have to be in one of these four cells, but I'll just use this one for example to show that the logic still applies. And then one of the surrounding cells has to be a 9, which means this has to be a 9. And just like that, I've immediately determined that it could actually work, so scratch that. <laughs> Theoretically, this could be a 9 because they can the two circles could refer back to each other, so never mind on that. Let's see. And the number of red circles I do not believe is given. Yeah, no. Um, a digit in a red circle indicates exactly how many red circles contain that digit. Yada yada. <laughs> okay, so, you know, theoretically this guy could go all the way up to 9, which means I don't particularly know much yet about this. Since arrows could include duplicates, that's not going to help me too much. I do know that this arrow here is going to be at least two cells long, because if it was a copy, it would break this. So, we do have that for some information. Does it say at least one? Yeah, it says at least one, so theoretically both of these could be the same number as well. Okay, let's see. Well, first of all, I know one of these four is going to be the same as this guy. You know, this is a nine, then it's going to have to be this one. But otherwise, it could be theoretically any of them. Although, this, if it is a nine, then based off of this one here, that's going to break up here because there's no way to connect to any of these. Which means it actually can't be a nine. Which does tell me that there is a 1 in, in this row. Because with at least 3 digits adding up to 8 with 3 of them in the same clump, you can't not have a 1. Because 2, three pl two plus 3 plus 4 is already 9. So now I've locked in there being a 1 here. This arrow theoretically still could go up here, although not likely. In which case this would be a 1 or a 2, depending on whether this is 7, 8, and what these 3 add up to. But... Other than that, using the same argument on this side, actually, we can't have 8 either. Because if one of these two was blank, then 
that's going to mean getting this one done. Actually, could we have eight? Um, that's a great question. Could we do eight? Theoretically, eight might actually be possible. If we have eight, then it means that one of these two is not the right one because <coughs> because if both of these guys were eights as well, actually, does the logic for nine work? That's a real question. Yeah, it still it still works because at least one of these two has to be. But I don't think it. I don't think I can use the same exclusion for eight because even though one of these has to be an eight and that'll exclude this box. The other one doesn't necessarily need to be an 8. And then we could have some pair up among these four cells. And that would still work. So... Although, actually, this box is also just completely isolated, I've realized. So, actually, I can't do 8, because one of these two boxes cannot contain the green and this box cannot contain a green, which means this is either an 8 or a 7, so these guys do not go above 4. Or if this is a 6 or a 7. But can it be a 7? So, we know for a fact that this box is isolated, so for now, I'll just mark it as red. And then one of these two boxes, at least, is isolated. And I'm actually not going to mark it as red, because I, I don't really need to keep track of that for that long. If we have a 7, then it means that those two isolated boxes are the only isolated boxes. Which would mean that, first of all, wow, well, yeah, this box is also isolated for the exact same reason. So, just kidding. It, it does, in fact, just have to be 6. And this box is isolated. This box is isolated. And... Theoretically, actually, no, scratch that. That's not enough logic to deduce it's actually a 6, I think. I think I might have just gone lucky there, but we're just going to jump back real quick and think about this a little bit more. Based on the fact that this box and this box need to be isolated, is there any other box we can force determine is isolated? That's the question, isn't it? Is <clears throat> this box... If it's not isolated, it connects to this one. That is perfectly valid as far as I'm concerned. Except for, that's going to isolate this box, and there you go. Because then, the whatever it is would have to be in that box. So, now I, now I feel fine with, confirm, with locking into this, because I've actually determined. And that means that, first of all, this box and this box don't work. Then one of these two boxes will not have a 6 in it. Which box it is, I can't say. But I know it's either this box or it's this box that doesn't have a 6 in it. And, yeah, that's going to just depend on which of the 6 is in this uh, group or this group. But either way, one of these two is a 6. And this guy's either a 2 arrow or a 3 arrow if it turns like this, or theoretically could go up to 4 digits long, maybe even more, but besides the point. Both of these have arrows coming off of them. And, hmm. This guy is part of an arrow, which means that there's going to be a circle somewhere in the vicinity of this area. I'm not sure how many circles there are total, but... Based off of the information I've gotten so far, it's not really that concludable. <clears throat> so I know that this box does need to have a circle. That is a 6. And, well, this is the only circle left, so... Process of elimination, I can do that. I'm actually going to unmark all of this, now that I can physically see it. And... First of all, this box can't have a 6 at all, but now also this box can't have a 6 and this box, which means there must be a 6 in here and it needs to connect to another 6, which means this circle actually just needs to be another 6 again. This guy could really be any digit, I'm not positive. 
Also, this box needs to have a 6 in it, once again connecting to another circle. And this box is going to need to have a 6 in it connecting to another circle. So, now I've gotten all six sixes found. This digit is just not a six. And I am not super clear because technically the arrow line isn't visible across this, but it actually can't even scratch that. It can't even go across that. So we went here. The minimum digit for this would be four, which would mean these two would have to add up to two, which is impossible. So this is either one, five, or two, four. And same thing over here. And if we look at where sixes can show up in the remaining three boxes, we get those areas. Okay. <clears throat> So, if we now look at this guy, first of all, this needs to connect diagonally to another one of itself, which means I'm going to color these in red. That means it either connects here, which isn't possible, actually, because this is a too long arrow, or connects over here. So, this needs to be one, two, or three. The only one that can possibly work is a three, which means now I know that there are three circles that have a three in them. And I can do some of that. And let's see, where do I want to go next? So there's either a circle or this is the end of an arrow here. And same thing on this side. Okay. I think the next best thing to do might be think about which of these squares can have threes in them. Can have a circle with a three in it. This square cannot, this square cannot, this square already does not, unless this is a three, this, oh, this can't be a three, so this square can't. I'm just going to color the center cells of the squares that can't have a three in red. This one can't, simply because there would need to be another circle along an edge. And that leaves, well, this one can't because three isn't up there. That means these two are the other ones that have threes, which means the threes are in a block like this. But actually, since I can already see that one's not, I can deduce both of those. And I will now remove the coloring I've used. <clears throat> now then, we have another red circle, and this one needs to be the same as this cell. Which means... Let's see, which squares, I'm just going to keep center cell marked in red for any squares that can't possibly any longer have a connection to the outside world. I think it's just that one for now. So this might be a circle, and so I don't have a great way of determining right now. But, um, yeah, theoretically that could be a circle. For this these purposes, this box also can't have one that helps, and this box can't, so... Yeah, because this circle can be the same as that digit, and this box, for the same reason, also can't have one. Now then, that means theoretically, I could have, amongst these three boxes, theoretically I could have up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this guy is 1, 2, 4, 5, but it can't be 1 or 2 because those two are 1, 2, so it's actually just 4, 5. That makes the rest of these... Uh, and this column 7, 8, and 9, which isn't going to help right now, but will probably in the future. So either three of these or four of these uh, boxes are going to also have a circle of four or five in it, with a four or five in it. Okay. So in this circle, I mean, this box guaranteed needs to have a four or five somewhere along the edge. That much is just guaranteed, so mark it with a blue center. This one could, if it's like this, for two circles, which is possible. Although, actually, it's not possible because of the four, five, because of these two being the same, being one of these two. So actually, this box is out, which tells me that this is just a four, and that there's going to be a four somewhere in one of these two cells. And I can also determine that's now a 1, 5, which makes this a 2, and a 1, 3 pair. 
since I have a four here, I will uncolor those. I'll leave the reds in there for now. Either um, this guy has to be a four because it's the only square left that could be it. And then that square also has to be a four. And would you look at that? That square is also also a four. And that means I can once again remove these colors. This is a one five as well. And this is, I think, just a standard arrow clue would be my guess. Anyways, this is a two or three, which makes that a one or a two. And that's been solvable for a little bit. This is a, another standard arrow. And this is a standard arrow that has a minimum value of four, which means it can be anything five or above, I guess. So that's not super helpful, so I'm not going to think about that for now. Um, where do I want to go next? Okay, it looks like it might be... There is a little bit of actual standard Sudoku I can do. So, I'm just going to quickly knock that out. And that gives us... that this is also not a red circle. Okay. Um, let's see. We have 5, 7, 8, 9 here and up here. I guess I'll mark them. Mainly, I guess, because I can actually determine that this is just A5. <clears throat> now, this row is going to need a 2 in it and a 3 in it. I'm not particularly sure where they go right now, but now you know. Um, let's see it. This guy up here is a 7, 8, or a 9. Then we have 7, 8, 9 here and 5, 7, 8, 9 there. Now, <clears throat> hmm. Not sure if I can. I don't think I can conclude yet that there is no 6 amongst these 3 cells. But if I knew the arrow path, then I would probably be able to determine that there isn't a 6. But I don't know the arrow path yet, so that's the best I can do for that. Okay. One of these two is a five, so one of these two is a five. But also, with two cells here, I can't add up to five. If it goes more than two, I definitely can't add up to five. And if it's one, two... I can't even go down and get another 2 or 1 because of these, so this guy just can't be a 5. And that gives me my arrow, so it was something somewhat of a more odd path, but nothing I can properly get from that now, I don't think. Oh, no, there might be. Because these two are minimum of 3 total, and this is just a minimum of 4, which means this is a 7, 8, 9, which just makes this a 4. Means these guys add up to 3, 4, or 5. And they can't add up to 4 because that would be 1, 3, and that doesn't work. And they can't add up to 5 because that would be 1, 4, 2, 3. So this is just a 7, and these two are a 1, 2 pair, which is solvable. Then this is a 7. And there's a 7 down there, but I already knew that. This up here is a 1, which does tell me the path. But all I can really conclude from this is that this one can't be a 6. Because then this would have to be a 2 to make 9, and there's a 2 there. Actually, this is a minimum of a 5, which means this is going to be a minimum of 8. And this can't go above 6, because if it went to 7, it'd break. And this would be a 2 or 3, but it can't be 3, so it has to be 2. Alright. One of these has to be a 2. This is a 2, and those is a 2. And here I have a 3, 8, 9, triple and here I just have a 4, 5 pair and 7, 8, 9 triple down here. And then we get 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is a 7, 8, 9 up here. I think, I think the red circle part of this is done, so it's now just arrow clues and standard Sudoku left. I don't think there's any... Yeah, no, they, they might be able to have one red circle somewhere or something, but I don't, I don't think it's even achievable anymore. Okay, yeah. Yeah, no, it's just, they, they can't possibly do it anymore, so. Essentially, it's just a sneer and Sudoku of Fog of War at this point.
which should be able to get sorted pretty quickly, hopefully. Three, seven, eight. So this is another seven, eight, nine, which makes this just a six. That's not a six. There's already sixes there. I could have found it out from. We have three, seven, eight, nine down here, which isn't really worth pencil marking. But here we have a one, eight, nine with a one here. Um, in this row we need a two, three, seven, eight, nine, which can't really get anything useful out of. This is going to be a minimum of still five. Like. Uh, I don't even think it's worth pencil marking yet. If this is 2, then this immediately jumps up to being a minimum of 8. And this also just can't be a 6, because 1, 5, and 2, 4 have already been eliminated as options. Which means that's a 5, which makes that an 8. Which means I can eliminate both of those. That's now a 7 or a 9. Here we have an 8. This is a 6. Here's a 4 and a 5. Here's another 4, here we have a 7-9 pair, um, one of these two is a 3, and we have two seven eight nine down here, so this is just 7-8 or 9 now, <clears throat> and let's, let's give this a think, okay, so 5 is actually just down here, and based on the fact 5's now in the grid, this can't be a 7 anymore. And it can't be an 8 because for 7, 1, 6, 2, 5, and 3, 4 are eliminated. For 8, 1, 7, 2, 6, and 3, 5 are eliminated. So this just has to be a 9, which means that... Hang on, I'm just going to real quick let's mark that. We can't have 1, 8, we can't have 3, 6, and we can't have 4, 5, so this is a 2, 7. And, okay. Um, One three nine here, so that's just three or nine, which becomes just three because of the eight nine pair up there. And yeah, okay. So I guess that's my run. Pretty good time, I guess. So I'll see you when I see you then.